All right, everyone. I hope you had fun with the exercises and you got to mess around a little bit with the picking techniques and stuff like that. Now, what I want us to be focusing on like primarily is starting to build your musicianship. Musicianship? It's always a tongue twister. Now, we want to be focused on us playing songs and jumping in and having heaps of fun and then starting to build the the muscle of being a musician, which is playing in time and understanding song structure and things like that. Um, those are completely overlooked by beginner players all the time. And it is so fundamental that if you just don't have it, um, you don't even start building that muscle. It's going to put you on the on the back foot right away. And it's usually where I see musicians um, or just new guitarists and even like experienced musicians just fall off because it's just really hard to to keep motivated and, and to move forward and to collaborate with other people and things like that if you just don't have these uh, fundamental skills. Uh, but anyway, before we jump right into it, I want to talk about this magical piece of equipment which is called a capo or a capo um whatever you prefer to call it i don't really care um but you need to go to a guitar store and buy one of these things um super invaluable it's going to be your best friend as a beginner uh, i typically don't use it all the time but uh it has an incredibly good use uh for a beginner musician especially when your hands have not built a lot of strength and you can't jump into bar chords just yet so what this essentially does is we've learned a couple of chord shapes. Like we've learned the, the D, C. You know, we've, we've learned all those bad boys, right? Now with Sweet Home Alabama. But what's going to happen is these open shapes that you're going to be learning in the, in the future uh, videos that I do and how we're going to be doing the lessons will be like you'll ask me for songs and I will make easy versions of them. And so what we're going to do is say I'm playing a D chord like this and then a C chord and then a G chord, like how we do Sweet Home Alabama. Um, what I can do is with this capo, I can essentially move where it is, um, where the chords start and I can move it up the fretboard. So I say I put it on the second fret, I can keep the same distance from the fretboard as I did before. And now I'm in, in a different key. So it's what we call transposing. And um, that's what this allows you to do. It allows you to keep the shapes that you already know, your open chord shapes, and allows you to move through different keys. So basically it's just a transpo transposition tool. Um, and it means that you don't have to learn anything extra to play heaps and heaps of songs. So if you know how to play D chord, play a C chord, play a G chord, you can play, you know, chicken fry here. And then you can play Wagon Wheel. And if I go on to the second fret, you know. So I'm playing that, you know, the, the G, C, and D can move everywhere. And one of the other songs that we're going to definitely go into would be um, uh, Tennessee Whiskey, which is going to be a G to an A minor. You know, and that can always be down here. So you, you're going to get, be able, basically you can just play everywhere on the fretboard um, and you can do a lot of cool, 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 super cool things with a capo. So get one of these. Um, with all the videos, I will just do them in open chords and then I'll give you the correct key that it is in. Uh, so uh, just because if people don't have capos, I don't want them to feel bad. But um I will see. I might even just put the capo on and then if you guys want to just use your open chord shapes and be like, I just can't be bothered with the capo, you can just do open chord shapes. It's no problem at all. But yeah, um, capo, buy one, super useful. It is going to be referenced in pretty much uh, a lot of content that we do and it is going to be a huge unlock in playing just so many songs and it's just, it's, it's a weapon. It's seriously... For the cost of what it is, it actually just unlocks everything. It saves you so much time. Anyway, we'll give it a good crack, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video when we start playing some songs. All right.